Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. While testing potential builds, utilizing new mods and exotic armor and preparing for Fall to Glass, I stumbled upon a crazy build that to be honest with you, I still don't completely understand how these damage numbers came out, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But I wanted to get this out as quickly as possible so you could potentially use this in your day one runs as well as on Grandmaster and other end game content when it opens up. Again, my recent video around max survivability has been well received. And again, that's a build that you would utilize when you're trying to survive within an encounter. This one is specifically around DPS. If your role in the party, especially as the hunters do DPS, pay attention, watch this video. So again, to put it simply, this build is crazy and will allow you to do some unheard of DPS with weapons. Again, I was shocked and I had to test this out multiple times, the final part of this I'm gonna talk about to confirm. So let's get into details. If you have any comments on it, feel free to drop by my Discord, which is in the description of this video. First off, I wanted to look at the new Breach and Clear mod because based on this description, I thought I could do some really freaky things with Anarchy. So that's something that I've actually been trying to level up. It's at the very end of your seasonal artifact and it does cost nine energy, so it's pretty expensive, but I'll tell you why it's useful here in a second. So as a reminder, this uh, mod is actually gotten from your seasonal artifact. So you need to level that up as quickly as you can. And what it does is when using a grenade launcher, damaging a boss, damaging a champion, or breaking combatant shields, reloads your stowed weapons, which is good, and causes a combatant to take increased damage for a short duration. It costs nine energy, so it's pretty expensive. So basically what this mod is going to do is over time, if you're damaging something with a grenade launcher, again, gr both Wither Horde and Anarchy are grenade launchers. Anarchy, I was more interested in using because depending on the encounter, if you use Wither Horde, you have bosses or other things that are in the air, so it's hard to do with Wither Horde, so that's why I used Anarchy. But as you're doing damage, you're basically going to do a 30% buff, and we'll talk about that in a minute, a 30% buff to damage for everyone on the fire team, and it stacks with other things. And in many respects, it's going to act like a divinity. While it doesn't have sort of the crit bubble, as you're doing this, it will allow you to get that much sort of additional damage. So that's where, honestly... This is somewhat game changing in that when you have some of Divinity, they typically don't do as much DPS because they have to use Divinity. But with this and with it affecting around the fire team, this allows you to use something like Anarchy again that does damage over time. You can continue to do wep uh, weapon damage with other things, including your supers. So to be consistent, what I'm going to be using in this build is primarily Anarchy and a Palindrome. And Palindrome isn't a end tier dps but i'm using it so the numbers are consistent it's something i can consistently hit whatever boss and george hasn't exactly got a ton of uh, health so i want to make sure it's something where i can show you some of the damage without instantly killing him what you want to pay attention to as i show you the screenshots is i'm going to concentrate on two numbers one is the anarchy damage not the initial damage but the damage over time and i'm going to concentrate on the palindrome damage so the base damage is anarchy on this on this encounter does 5481 damage Okay, over time. The Paladrome does 2,618, so that's base. That's with nothing, that's with no mods on, that's with no supers, that's with nothing else. That's where we're going to start at. So next, I wanted to kind of check out the mod itself, the Breach and Clear. So with nothing else on, with just that mod, I went up to 7,125 points with Anarchy. And again, you don't get this on the first hit, because the first hit, it's got to proc that. And then after that, on the continuous uh, damage happens after that, you'll see those numbers. And the Paladrome is a 3,404. Now, those are good numbers. It's about 30% increase. So, not bad. Nothing great, but it's not bad. And again, that applies to you and your entire fire team. Again, it's like Tether or something like that. It's kind of, it applies across the board. Next, I tried the exact same thing, but I did it with a super, in this case, my tether. And with that, I basically got the same numbers. So again, you don't have stacking here with at least the, the debuff and what's on the uh, on the mod. So again, still good, nothing to write home about. Now let's talk about the exotic. So the exotic is Star Eater Scales, which is an interesting name. You get this from doing the Lost Sectors, the Legendary Master Lost Sectors on any of the planets, the days that legs are available. What's cool about this is when you have your super, if you continue to get orbs of light, you can go up to four times a buff. And with that buff, you can do increased damage. So supercharges your super. So this works really well for things like golden gun or things that are using DPS. It also works well in tether. I'll explain that in a minute. The other thing that's nice about this that I didn't know, I actually watched a video from Datto. You actually, as you pick up orbs of light, you get double the super uh, regeneration. So again, 
That's a pretty cool build. And again, I'm not going to get into, I may do this later, into what weapons you can pair with this outside the standard ones I'm using for testing. But there's probably some pretty crazy stuff you can do with that. Now with that, I took the breach and clear off. I just used the boots with a super. And with that, I actually got with the tether a 108% increase. So my anarchy went to 11,400 and my palindrome went to 5,415, which is really, really good, right? So this is again, without breach and clear. And so that effect only happens for you. That does not happen for your fire team, but it can be helpful. And that's also why, you know, some people might want to use uh, something like golden gun here. And it does do quite a bit of damage with golden gun, but I want to use tether for my super. And I'll explain more in a little bit about that. I want to use Tether because I also want to give some additional um, debuff to my party. So that's kind of the role that I'm having with this build. It's about me having some extra DPS, but it's about the entire fire team doing that, which is one of the reasons I'm using the Breach and Clear as well. The final thing I did is then I took the boots, I took the grenade launcher, and I did the super on the boss. Here's where things get squirrely. So the Anarchy is still the same, 11,400. My Palindrome hits are 8,168, which is like, whoa, wait a second, did I see that right? So I actually tested this multiple times, and that is correct. So one of the things people have talked about with the interaction between the tether and the boots themselves, whether it's intentional or not, it seems like it's more damage. Like if you do the math, it doesn't completely add up. So the base damage I was talking about, 108%, that's hard to figure out to begin with. So I'm thinking there's something hidden, that interaction between you know tether and super and the boots to begin with. And I think what happens is, is then it adds in the, the grenade, and somehow that stuff ac actually buffs the the damage even further and the 210 percent and i like i said i did this a couple times it's always the same value that math doesn't add up either but what i don't understand no is is that a max dps that bungie has when you stack things right is there a cap and that's what we're running into because again i can't make the math uh add up but again you can see what happens here now again I, you, it, that's not exciting palindrome isn't a big weapon yeah but think about this think about if you go into raid and use an anarchy to damage him over time right? And you have everyone doing all their other things, wells or bubbles, whatever things you want to stack on top of each other, right? Let's say you're doing all of that. And let's say after doing that, you also bring out a sniper, okay, for something long range, or you bring out a shotgun. I mean, you can see how this could like 210% damage on your basically your kinetic and your energy weapon while anarchy continues to damage. That's pretty impressive. In fact, I'd love to play around with this eventually with more than one tether hunter, and like take turns, it might be interesting to see what the results look like. So again, the entire point of this build is this allow you to essentially get out of using Divinity on the boss, which takes another person, adds them back to the DPS pool, allows you to do damage over time with, with Anarchy, allows you to tether and debuff the boss for the entire fire team, and allows you to do insane DPS with your energy and primary spots. I will continue to tweak this as I haven't really utilized any other mods like boss spec or additional buffs from others in my fire team, but the results could even be better. On a side note, I decided to test this on Callie. Again, I don't typically use Callie just because she can kind of move you around and boop you off. And so it's, sometimes it's hard to get consistent numbers. But I was curious, again, something that actually has more damage and was pretty easy to get to, what the numbers will look like. In most of my earlier standard builds, I can get as high as 200 and some thousand, maybe even 300 if I'm really having a good day in an individual portion before I get to the door. So, you know, as you go through Callie, you can go through the doors basically two times and get three mini DPS faces on her. Well, basically in that in that first, just one of those, I can get that. With this build, and again, you'll see here, and it's fine. You can comment and you'll make fun of it. It's fine. You'll see I'm missing shots. I'm not doing things perfectly, but I'm easily getting like over 500,000 points of damage. Again, with a non-optimized loadout with, you know, this sort of build that I'm talking about. And I think with the right fire team, with the right approach and the right encounters, this thing could be absolutely bonkers. And this is another another real world uh, example of showing that in action. So again, I hope you appreciate the video. If you did, feel free to like the video and actually drop into my Discord, links in the description. And let's talk about the build or talk about other things that you're doing in preparation for Vault of Glass uh, day one.